Sweden controversially didn't lock down during the global pandemic and now its chief epidemiologist and architect of the country's virus strategy has admitted that more could have been done to protect people. And as Tegnell previously criticised other countries' strict lockdown measures as non-sustainable, but he's now said that there is potential for improvement in the approach taken in Sweden. Well, Sweden's death rate per capita was the highest in the world over the seven days to the 2nd of June. Uh, it was an admission that we always can become better. Uh, and I think anything else would be very surprising to hear anybody say in this situation. I'm sure my colleagues in all of, all of the world will say the same thing. There are always aspects uh, where we could have handled this situation even better than we do today. Now when we learn more and more things. It does not mean that the basic strategy in Sweden has changed in any way. Uh, we are still very happy with the basic strategy. It works well. Uh, we have a low level of spreading in society. Uh, we have an unfortunate very high death toll, but we are working on that and we see that is diminishing rather quickly. Well, for more on this, we can speak to our reporter in Stockholm. That's Per Bergfors Nyberg. Uh, Pedro, we heard just there from a Sweden's chief epidemiologist, and who, of course, has said earlier there was room for improvement. But in a press conference later, he seemed to walk back on that. So tell us more about what he had to say. Well, good evening, Tokes. Basically, this morning there was an interview on Swedish public radio where he said those now infamous words that there was room for improvement in the Swedish strategy. This was interpreted all throughout the day, both in Swedish press and also international press, as being somewhat of an admission that the Swedish strategy was in some way wrong. Now, during, during the press conference this afternoon, he basically said that no, the strategy was not wrong, but there was definitely still room for improvement. And he was talking about a couple of things. Basically, the health care workers working with older people in nursing homes, uh, taking care of older people at their homes. That strategy had just hasn't worked in terms of protecting the elderly people. Uh, we're seeing almost half of the deaths being, especially in nursing homes. Uh, he was also talking about uh, things like testing. The national testing hasn't worked at all. We also heard today from the, the government's testing coordinator saying that Sweden should have tested much more right from the start and kept at it. Sweden uh, just stopped doing uh, testing and tracing uh, a couple of weeks into the pandemic. He also spoke about another thing, the fact that Sweden closed down high schools. He was saying that this is something that perhaps wasn't even necessary. He was saying that other countries could learn from Sweden uh, by not closing down schools because he says that is one of the measures that just doesn't seem to have had any sort of impact. But at the same time, Sweden has also some areas where they could learn from other countries when it comes to specifically testing and how to protect the elderly. Well, Pair, with Sweden, you know, having that place, unwanted place at the top of death rates per capita, how are Swedes now feeling about the government's strategy? Well, Tox, we're now at over 4,500 people who have lost their lives in COVID-19 here in Sweden. And basically, I'd say the country is quite divided. I've met several people who have lost loved ones, uh, their parents in nursing homes who are so furious with the way Anders Tegnell and the government has handled this pandemic of not closing down. At the same time, you have a large part of the, the population just enjoying the fact that they've been able to be outside, go into bars, go into restaurants all throughout this pandemic. And the whole strategy from the government and Anders Tegnell and the Swedish Health Agency has been all along to maintain social distancing. Now, we know that the government is going to launch an inquiry before the summer to look into how did Sweden actually handle this pandemic. The government didn't want to launch it before the summer, but all the other parties in the Swedish parliament just wanted to press ahead with this inquiry to make sure that experts are now going to look at what did Sweden do right, what did they do wrong, and what can we learn from it if there is a potential second wave hitting us come this fall, Tox. I'm sure we're going to be speaking again about this issue. Per Bergfors Nyborg for now. Thank you for joining us.